Sunday, December the 11th, 2016. This is Super Mushroom House. Uh, it's snowing a bit and uh, it's a really heavy cloud cover. I came out before and sat on the balcony here for a while and uh, there was no orb in the sky. I didn't see anything. Uh, there's nothing really to see. It's so uh, the clouds are so heavy. And I went and made a coffee, came back out, and now I have a my personal orb right close, and it's very bright. Uh, it's it's not coming through the clouds. And it's not the moon because it looks very close and uh, it's very bright. It's almost as bright as the sun. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to come out in camera, but I figured I'd uh, get it. Last night I uh, filmed the moon hologram. It was only a half moon and this is a full orb I can see it just with my eyes it's not a half anything so I'm going to check it out yeah this is a full orb I'm just going to move it over to the center okay so let's see it Okay, it's so bright it's darkening the camera. Okay, so this is a full orb. It's very bright. It even has a bright halo, just like a star. Uh, <coughs> I don't see any features. Okay, it's raking up. I don't know what it's doing. Uh, that's the nucleus of it, it's dark. China. It is going to darken it so I can go in closer. Okay, I'm just going to look at it to try and do this again. Okay. Here, that's as dark as I can get it. Okay, so it's definitely not the moon hologram coming through the clouds. It's too bright. And it's not a half of anything. It's a full orb. Okay, so this is as dark as I can get it. And this is a full orb. So this there is my personal orb. Okay, now I have it really dark. It looks kind of small because I took out most of the light just to go closer. Okay, I still don't see any features because it's bright like this. 
Maybe I'll see something later on a larger screen that I'm not able to see now. Right now it's uh, 10.20 in the morning. So I first saw it 10 minutes ago and I went in and made a coffee and came back out. And uh, it's still here. But it's not the moon hologram. Because that was just a half moon last night, and that was late last night. So it couldn't have turned to a full moon just like that. I change the angle. No, it's too bright. Doesn't matter what angle. No. Okay, it's it's too bright. Okay, here we go. Okay, you can see that it's an orb cluster. You see all the orbs? Okay, look at how fast they're moving. Okay, so this orb is watching me. It's my personal my personal watcher. Okay. And it's not just one orb, it's like a whole lot of them. This is an orb cluster. And all these orbs are moving counterclockwise. It doesn't matter which way they're going. They're moving counterclockwise from all different directions. But whichever direction they're coming from, their movement is counterclockwise. Even though it all looks a hazard like this, don't forget this is like a, we're talking about volume, <coughs> and this is spherical. So if they could be coming from any of the 360 degrees around the sphere, so. That means there's at least 360 different ways these things could be going counterclockwise. I mean, the directions I'm talking about. There's at least 360 of them. And if this is a more than a three-dimensional object or subject or cluster, then it's 360 times the number of dimensions that this thing has, uh, that these things can be moving counterclockwise. So you're going to see a lot of them going in all different directions from everywhere. I'll just leave it there. Let me see closer. Okay, now I'm close. It's not that far away. That's, I mean, it could be, but. It's not like trying to get the moon hologram or anything. <coughs> I'm only at about 100x. Not even... I don't have the thing on, but I know I'm not... You know, anywhere near how far I can get out there. Okay, they're too hard to see. And, uh, in the middle, but around the edges you can see them better. Okay, so there's a larger orb cluster, which is probably all, all around me, but they're moving kind of fast. I'm not really looking for them right now because it's all fog all over. And uh, I don't know if I can even see them. 
It's, it's really a uh, thick fog. <coughs> but the fog is all done probably. Because that's what they've been doing lately, is making a lot of fog. But it's all really done. Okay, so you can't see them from far away, you have to go in close. Boy, as soon as I start talking about it, they start doing whatever it is. Oh, here it goes. Okay. <coughs> okay, I'm right dead center. And they start showing themselves. Okay, so they're not going to show themselves going across that white part. That's the center of the nucleus. It always amazes me. They know everything that I'm doing. And they know everything that I'm thinking or saying. That just means there's a lot of them all around me. <coughs> <laughs> the messages are getting back to the source, which is this orb. So they eliminated being seen right away. You see how quick they correct whatever it is they don't want me to see? Just like that, immediately. And boy. They're really smart. Smart enough to correct any error. You know, on the spot. And that was on the spot. As soon as I said I could see them, they corrected it right away. Okay, let's see how long that can last. Because they gotta go through that middle sometimes to recharge. Okay. Slightly moving. Either that or my camera is moving, but I got it locked in. I can't even move it. Uh, see that slow one come in and then back off? See, they're just shooting through the middle real fast. Fast. Maybe they are shooting through the middle, but too fast to see. That's another possibility, because they can zoom by faster than light, and you can't see them. Right, you see that? Ooh, that one is close to me. See how I blocked the whole camera? Right. I'm losing it. It's gonna dissipate.
is going to take itself out of the picture. Uh, <coughs> okay, so that point being that orb is watching me and it's been watching me for the last, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe since I first saw it. Let's see. 15 minutes. Okay. And it just appeared. It wasn't there before. Okay. You remember I told you all these things are insects. You can tell even just by the way they fly that they're not birds or anything. These are space insects, but they're on our planet right now. And uh, they're all over in the atmosphere, a, lot, a whole lot of them. I put on a video yesterday where I showed orbs in rows, you know, right next to one another, going counterclockwise from right to left, but you couldn't really tell whether they were going up uh, and down or from uh, the top down or from the bottom up because there are so many of them and there's no way to really tell except where there were gaps and then I showed the gaps and the orbs are you know visible going from right to left counterclockwise well the same situation is here and all over actually in the air but the camera won't pick them up uh, but that's what the entire atmosphere looks like <coughs> like all those orbs stacked up like that in rows together yet moving very fast okay so they created their own medium in our own atmosphere in our dimension and they pack that with themselves so they they are the medium but they are also the actors or you know the entities that manipulate and regulate and create that entire medium so it's like their space and what that means is that they've blended in their dimensional space in with ours and that's why they're so hard to see because it's like a dimension within a dimension and we're not able to pick it up because our eyes and even our mind is just not fast enough to uh, to absorb all of that it happens so fast and especially the camera and I have it running at faster than normal faster than 30 frames and even then it's not fast enough you know to pick them all off because uh, as you can see <coughs> as soon as they're they increase their vibrations frequency and the velocity you know, they're out of sight, <laughs> and even the camera can't pick them up. I, I can see some, but now that it's snowing and everything, it's hard to tell. You know, there's so many things in the air. <laughs> it's hard to tell, you know, what's what, except when I see a black one here and there. Uh, then I know that's an orb but right now I'm just looking at this trying to make a video and I want to get some orbs I'll get them over here like on the edge Ooh, that's one of those big wasps okay and that's what that was
There was no way to really tell except where there were gaps and then I showed the gaps and the orbs were you know visible going from right to left counterclockwise. Well the same situation is here and all over actually in the air but the camera won't pick them up uh, but that's what the entire atmosphere looks like <coughs> like all those orbs stacked up like that in rows together yet moving very fast okay so they created their own medium in our own atmosphere in our dimension and they pack that with themselves so they they are the medium but they are also the actors or you know the entities that manipulate and regulate and create that entire medium so it's like their space and what that means is that they've blended in their dimensional space in with ours and that's why they're so hard to see because it's like a dimension within a dimension and we're not able to pick it up because our eyes and even our mind is just not fast enough to, uh, to absorb all of that it happens so fast and especially the camera and I have it running at faster than normal faster than 30 frames and even then it's not fast enough you know to pick them all off because uh, as you can see <coughs> as soon as they're they increase their vibrations frequency and the velocity you know they're out of sight <laughs> and even the camera can't pick them up I, I can see some but now that it's snowing and everything, it's hard to tell. You know, there's so many things in the air. <coughs> it's hard to tell, you know, what's what. Except when I see a black one here and there, uh, then I know that's an orb. But right now I'm just looking at this, trying to make a video. And I want to get some orbs. I'll get them over here, like on the edge. Ooh, that's one of those big wasps. Okay, and that's what that was. Okay, I gotta check that one out. I think that was one of those big wasps. Earlier this morning, I saw a big black thing just kind of cruise around in the sky but it was too far to see and I didn't feel like setting up the camera the sword made me do it <coughs> I'm just gonna go all around the edges See if I can pick off. Wow, you see how fast that one was? That one, the last one there, it stopped for like a quick uh, millisecond and then continued. It was going real fast, then it stopped and then continued, but it happened all so fast that uh, for us it looked like it just kept going and showed up for a second but what it did was actually go real fast and stop and then continue but it all happened so fast you can't tell that it stopped it looked like just one single mo motion but if you slow your mind down or slow them down with your mind to the point where you can tell that it made a stop then you can actually know what they're doing you need to practice to catch those kind of things 
and by doing it a lot, you get used to it, and then you do it automatically because your mind, you know, gets used to the speed or the velocity, and then you can kind of slow them down without even trying to because your mind just gets adjusted to the velocity of their motion and movement and then uh, it kind of slows them down on, on its own because it wants to understand what's going on and it, the only way it can do that is if it slows things down to the level of understanding that it can handle and it's like an automatic process if you do this a lot but if you don't do it a lot you have to do it by concentrating on slowing your mind down and uh, <coughs> you know actually doing that kind of thing on uh, you know with your willpower just slow it down and and then you can see them in, in uh, kind of slow motion. It's like mental slow motion, but it will catch what they're doing more accurately than if you just watch. Because uh, there's a difference in just watching and, and, and studying and examining what's going on. As it's, as it's happening. Okay. Wait, there's always noises when I'm doing important things like this. I don't know why they're drilling the street on Sunday, but they just came and set up and they're uh, drilling holes in the street boy and it's Sunday and that was a big one you see there's all different sizes of them okay and this is a large orb okay this is a pretty large orb but it's not the moon hologram because this one is a whole orb and the moon hologram was only half moon but last night, late last night could have been earlier this morning like around 1 o'clock a.m. I don't remember what time exactly it was, it was late Anyway, these orbs that are flying around prove two things. One, there are orbs in our own atmosphere flying around like that all over. Okay, and that's not really good because those things are moving very fast. And I'm in between two airports. There's a lot of airplanes flying around also in the same, uh, you know, area of the sky. And these things are, uh, <coughs> you know, packed with energy because they're energy uh, entities. So if there was ever a collision to make a huge explosion, these things are like, you know, <laughs> I was going to say dynamite, but they're worse than, than dynamite because they, they have more energy than that. They're energy entities, who knows how much energy they pack. They're made out of energy. And uh, this whole orb is all them, and it's all energy. So, being that it's so foggy out of this thing is not in outer space, it's here. A plane might not see it and run into it, or into one of these other ones that are moving around all over and that would be a disaster and I am between two airports like major airports so 
that's uh, it's not good that it's down this low and, uh, you know close to uh, close to two airports like that see how he darkened the whole thing actually you know it's daytime see that's not that high up you see how much glow it has and you see the sky it's all cloudy and I mean it's really cloudy so this this is pretty low look uh, how bright that thing is and it hasn't moved let's see no it has not moved one inch from where it was so it's not being affected by the rotation of the earth uh, on its axis because it's staying I mean it's keeping up with the with the earth revolving on its axis so it's staying in one spot consistent with the spin of the earth on its axis which uh, means it's intelligently controlled to do that <coughs> otherwise if it, even if it was the moon hologram it would have changed location just due to the spin of the you know of the earth on its axis but this shows that it's not the moon hologram and that it is holding position in, in an intelligent way. And the other point I want to make is that it is an orb cluster that's there and it's a big one and this is just its nucleus the slid up part that's an orb that's the nucleus of a much larger orb cluster that's uh, got a lot of energy <coughs> and it's giving off a lot of light okay and it's uh, not the sun because this is like facing west and it's only right now quarter to 11 okay so it can't be the sun because this is all the way on the west on the west end just want to see if there are any orbs yeah there's orbs all around it Okay, so it can't be the sun. It's not the moon hologram. It's all the way on the west. Okay, it's moving the camera. It moved the camera. Nah, I lost it. Okay, these are even darker clouds uh, coming in uh, low. These could be orb clouds. Because usually when they don't want me to see something, they send in these orb clouds and they cover everything up. They can't see through them because that's those black orbs uh, that they can't see through. Okay, that's the end of my video. 
they made sure that okay it's gone so that was my personal orb <laughs> this morning and uh, I had to film it uh, I just couldn't resist because uh, it couldn't have been the sun this is all the way on the west end and uh, it wasn't the moon hologram because that was only half of a moon hologram last night late or early this morning it was around midnight so it was neither the sun nor the moon and uh, it was just an orb and it was low and they made sure I couldn't see it anymore so that was it okay so that's it thank you for viewing and this is super much mess I'll just show you over here the situation okay this is how foggy it is on the ground okay can't see anything okay okay you can barely see a couple hundred meters and that's big buildings anything else is all in fog okay so it's pretty bleak <coughs> there's nothing else I can show okay thank you for viewing this is super much mess have a nice day